American Medical Association. He told the committee that the reason the AMA had not denounced the marijuana tax law sooner was that the association had just discovered that marijuana was hemp, but it wasn't hemp, and it isn't cannabis sativa, and it isn't hemp. It's a word that they put on it. Few people at the time realized that the deadly menace they had been reading about on Hearst front pages was in fact passive hemp. The AMA understood cannabis to be a medicine found in numerous healing products sold over the last hundred years. In September 1937, hemp became illegal. The most useful crop known became a drug and our planet has been suffering ever since. That's the truth. Congress banned hemp because it was said to be the most violent causing drug known. Anslinger, head of the Drug Commission, for 31 years promoted the idea that marijuana made users act extremely violent. In the 1950s, under the communist threat of the McCarthyism, Anslinger now said the exact opposite. Marijuana will pacify you so much the soldiers would not want to fight. Today, our planet is in desperate trouble. Earth is suffocating as large tracts of rainforest disappear, pollution, poison, and chemicals are killing people, these great problems could be reversed if industrialized hemp, natural biomass, could provide all of the planet's energy needs that are currently energy needs that are currently supplied by fossil fuels. We have consumed 80% of our oil and gas reserves. We need a renewable resource. Hemp could be, is, he says, could be the solution to soaring gas prices, but it is the solution from the seeds, the oil, from the cellulose, a 120-day crop. Hemp has a higher quality fiber than wood fiber. Far fewer costly chemicals are required to make paper from hemp than from trees. Hemp paper does not turn yellow. It is very durable. The plant grows quickly to maturity in a season where trees take a lifetime. All plastic products should be made from hemp seed oil. Hemp and plastic are biodegradable. Over time, they would break down and not harm the environment. Oil-based plastics, the ones we are very familiar with, help ruin nature. They do not break down and will do great harm in the future. The process to produce the vast array of natural hempen plastics will not ruin the rivers as DuPont and other petrochemical companies have done. Ecology does not fit in with the plans of the oil industry and the political machine. Hemp products are safe and natural. Medicines should be made from hemp. We should go back to the days when the AMA supported cannabis cures. Medical, quote-unquote, marijuana is given out legally to only a handful of people while the rest of us are forced into a system that relies on chemicals. Pot is only healthy for the Pot is only healthy for the human body. World hunger would end. A large variety of food products can be generated from hemp. The seeds contain one of the highest sources of protein in nature. Also, they have two essential fatty acids that clean your body of cholesterol. These essential fatty acids are not found anywhere else in nature. Consuming pot seeds is the best thing you could do for your body. Eat uncooked hemp seeds. Clothes should be made from hemp. Hemp clothing is extremely strong and durable over time. You can hand 
clothing made you could have have clothing made from pot down to your grandchildren today there are american companies that make hemp clothing usually 50 percent hemp hemp fabrics should be everywhere instead they are almost underground superior hemp products are not allowed to advertise on fascist t television television kentucky w once the top hemp producing state made it illegal to wear hemp clothing. Can you imagine being thrown in jail for wearing quality jeans? The world is crazy, but that does not mean you have to join the insanity. Get together, spread the news, tell people, and that includes your children, the truth. Use hemp products, eliminate the word marijuana. Realize the history that created it. Make it politically incorrect to say or print the M word. Fight against the propaganda designed to favor the agenda of the super rich and the bullshit. That's what he says. Hemp must be utilized in the future. We need a clean energy source to save our planet. Industrialized hemp. The liquor, tobacco, and oil companies fund more than a million dollars a day to partnership for a drug-free America and other similar agencies. We have all seen their commercials. Now their motto is, it's more dangerous than we thought. Lies from the powerful corporations that began with Hearst are still alive and well today. The brainwashing continues. Now the commercials say, if you buy a joint, you contribute to the murder and gang wars. The latest anti-pot commercials say, if you buy a joint, you are promoting terrorism. The new enemy, terrorism, has paved the road to brainwash you any way they see fit. This is only, there is only one enemy. The friendly people you pay your taxes to. The war makers and nature destroyers. With your funding, they are killing the world right in front of your eyes. Half a million deaths each year are caused by tobacco. Half a million deaths each year are caused by alcohol. No one has ever, ever died from smoking pot. In the entire history of the human race, not one death can be contributed attributed to cannabis. Our society has outlawed grass, but condones the uses of the killers, tobacco and alcohol. Hemp should be de declassified and placed in drug stores to relieve stress, hardening, and constriction of the arteries. Relieve stress. Harding, hardening and constriction of the arteries are bad, but hemp uses actually enlarges the arteries which is a healthy condition. We have been so conditioned to think that smoking is harmful that that is not the case for passive pot. Ingesting THC, hemp active agent, has a positive effect, relieving asthma and glaucoma. A joint tends to alleviate the nausea caused by chemotherapy. You are able to eat on hemp. This is a healthy state of being. One personal note. This is still his reading. During the pregnancy of my wife, she was having some difficulty gaining weight. We were in the hospital. A nurse called us to one side and said, Off the record, if you smoke some pot, you'll get something called the munchies and you'll gain weight. I swear that is a true story. The stereotype for a pothead is similar to a drunk bubble brain. Yet the truth is, one's creative ability can be enhanced under its influence. The perception of time slightly slows and one can become more sensitive. You can more appreciate our arts, be closer to nature, and generally feel more under the influence of cannabis. It is, in fact, the exact opposite state of mind and body as the drunken state. You can be more aware with pot. The pot plant is an alien plant. This is, there is physical evidence that cannabis is not like any other plant on this planet. One could conclude that it was brought here for the benefit of humanity. I definitely would, would conclude that. My family sent.